Hello. These are my glasses. My dirty glasses need doing. My apologies, I've not got my hair today. Uh, and yes, I went to the dog beach yesterday and I never used sunscreen and I'm heavily sunburned. So uh, don't tell me I live in Australia and it's really bad here and you should never get sunburned because of our ozone layer. But you know, things happen. We don't plan always. So I will slip, slop and slap next time, I promise. So yeah, if you want to leave a comment about my sunburn, go ahead. Okay. Uh, it's not so I don't normally go in the sun for a long period of time. I'm normally covered up. So as you can see, I was wearing an inappropriate attire for that occasion. Anyway, moving on from the sun tan, just wanted to address that so you all see me and see what I'm doing. So I'm doing a slightly different angle just right now for this intro. Uh, I'm going to move these glasses up so you can see my face. All right. Uh, actually, let me take them off. There you go. Hi. So um, what I'm doing today is a commission piece. So as you can probably tell, I have this guitar. Da -da. It's a bit dirty. Just, just everything. All right. Uh, it's an old guitar. It is broken. Right? So it's just been stored away and it just needs a good clean up and tidy up. It doesn't need fixing. It's got no strings on currently. It will have strings put back onto it um, for display only, not for playing. So um, a lady approached me and uh, asked if it was a possibility for me to do an ocean pour on this guitar. Now, I've only seen one other video of somebody doing an ocean pour uh, on a guitar, but it was a handmade guitar uh, from scratch. So I've never seen one on a model like this. Um, it's a Monterey. Um, it was bought for um, a daughter and it's broken now. So, but they don't want to just put it in the bin. They want to do something and put it on display because they love guitars and love music and very musical, musical family. So, and they live by the beach and they love the beach. And they've seen some of my resin pours I've done with my selling and they love it. And so they've asked if I can do this for them. I've said, of course, I'd love to try. Never done it. Never done anything like this before. So this is a first for me. And from what I've seen on YouTube and other social medias, there's not many out there that do it either. So um, it'll either go well or not. If it doesn't go well, then they're not going to be too concerned about it, uh, as they've told me. But obviously I'm going to do my best, clean it up, tidy it up and try and make something amazing. So we're going to do a resin pour going from here, here across here and down here um, and then it's going to over pour because there's a couple of scratches here and damage so I'm going to try and over pour over the edge and cover this area too. The colours are choosing are blues not blue greens so, no green. Next thing is if I just get rid of them I need to get this out the string out so let me get my glasses on so I can see and I'm going to get my pliers and we're going to try and get this out. Sorry about my reaching over but I don't want these yeah there's a couple of wires here that have been cut off I'm not, I don't want to try and remove them if possible so I need to turn it around because I'm right-handed. Let's hope it stays there. Okay. Can you see that? What I'm doing? Can you it? I don't need to see my little bit mush. And uh, can we zoom those on there? Of course not. So what I've read is you push the string in with the pliers and pull back. Or pull back and push in. One or the other. There we go. And then hopefully... Hopefully, once you push it in, the string should release. These are that has, that has gone in, it has lifted, and there we go. Come on, there we go. So there's the that's for the string. That's what holds the string in place. Now where did that just fall off? I don't want to show you what I removed. Oh, where's it gone? It's rolled off somewhere. Oh, it's in the it's in the guitar. Room. Let's see if we can shake it. Out. Beautiful. I didn't expect to find that in there. There is another one. Another string. Perfect. All right. That's it. Got it all out. I need to come out anyway. So, show you what they um, what they look like. And this one here. Actually, I'm going to leave it out, but I'll just place it there so you can see. Um, so this is what they look like. So they're just like a, a string that's coiled and it's put in there. And then you push the peg in and it tightens and holds the string tight so that when you turn your pegs at the end, it will tune your string. So we don't want these in the way of the resin. So I'm going to take my time and just see if I can't move more. Move the fan on and uh, okay. So um, I've got 120 grit here. Uh, I thought about that and I thought, no, I don't want to use that because I think it's a little bit too harsh and grainy. And I don't want to do damage to the, this. It's only got a very thin coat of varnish. And I don't want to destroy the guitar and leave gouges. So I thought I'll go to the 240 grit um, just to take off that, that bit of top varnish. Um, and then I've got these ones, which are a wet, wet one really, wet. I've got, I've got the one but I can't find them right now. I've got 1200 and I've got 2000. These will really leave that 
flat surface so it's not got gouges and ready for when I do my spray painting to seal it because uh, again we don't want air bubbles being released from the wood um, so we seal it spray paint before we pour red resin on it to get that smooth finish we don't want bubbles in our resin in the overall finish so this this that I'm doing now is preparation and your preparation is key to getting a good final product we don't want to rush this and mess it up um, so fast forward if you want to I'm just going to go ahead and uh, play some music and I'm just going to zone out while I do some light sanding light sanding on here and in the area where I want the resin to Spray piece of this is like cooking paper. Put it over my silicone mat so I don't want spray paint. I've got a piece of cardboard here uh, just to protect it a little bit from the overspray. Two blues I've got here, and I've just done a tester on them. One here as well. Uh, you can see that. So I've got the darker blue and the lighter blue. So I'm just going to do the darker blue at the back, the lighter blue at the exterior. Ultra cover paint and primer. Okay. Give it a good shake. Put your mask, actually, let me get the gloves on. Proper PPE, sorry. Get my gloves on. I don't want spray paint all over my hands. Just put my gloves. I'm just going to wear this one so you can hear me because it will cover my airways. I've got a fan on, I've got doors open, window open and uh, just protect yourself people from anything that's got chemicals and stuff.
so my paint has dried, I've sanded it, I've levelled this guitar as best as possible. Uh, if I need to move it quickly, I will wedge it with a bit more off so it goes back that way so I don't want the resin coming this way. Um, so, I'll just adjust this because I've done it too high up my neck. I mean, I'm talking about my, um, <coughs> my um, apron. Right up under my neck, I can't stand that. Okay, so, better. Um, these were the, uh, that's obviously Max White Sparkle by Colour Passion. And these are the Colour Passion gel tints, okay, for these colours here. Now, I put these out because I'll use these to test what the colour's going to look like with the resin. And bear, bear in mind that we can mix, like, this has only got one tiny drop of colour pigment in these testers, right? So, um, move that over for a second. So, we can test what colour blue, or green blue. And she doesn't want green blue, and that does to me. The sea foam has got green in it, she does not want green in it. So, I'm going to take that away. Um, this is the denim blue, but I think it's got a purple tinge to it because it is denim. It doesn't look like ocean, so I'm going to take that away. So what we're left with is aqua. Aqua, right? So I'm going to make, <coughs> excuse me, different shades of aqua, I think. And she does like the deeper blue. The other, but that's got sparkle. There is the Monet blue, but that's sparkle. She doesn't want sparkle. That's got sparkle. The only one I've got is Bondi blue, which is quite a pale blue. So I could do that at the back and then this one at the front, I think. So that's what I'll do. And I'll vary up the tint shade with the amount of, of tints I'm putting in. And then the white is going to have a little tiny bit of this, this max white sparkle. And the passion top cell white is what I'm going to use for the waves, for the um, foam. And that's the colour I'm going to use. The resin I'm using is Pugio, one to one, by Col from Colour Passion. So that's that's my choices, okay? So just so we are seeing what we're doing. So I'm going to mix my resin first, and then we'll go into colours. So. Um, I'm going to mix it into this big pot. It is a one-to-one -one ratio, so I have poured it equal equal amounts, and I'm going to pour it into here. Might as well pour that and have it dripping. I'll scrape these out. And the reason that we do this into a separate pot is so that we don't get any soft spots in the Pugio resin. So we want to make sure we don't have any unmixed pieces stuck to the edges, so we separate it like this into another cup making sure that we get as much out because we are doing equal measures of the resin. All right, that's that one. And I'll clean that with a cloth shortly and I'll just scrape this one out. So equal part A and B, so that's the resin and the hardener. So I've done 100 mils of each by volume, not by weight. There we go. Okay. Now we'll mix this for three to five. This stick's not the best, it's too short for this cup. It's hurting my fingers. So I'm just going to get rid of that and get a different stirring gadget. So this way I can scrape out as much of that resin as possible around the edges, especially in those grooves. Making sure I've got all around the bottom. Today, I've got plenty of Leave that for a minute. Two shades of blue and white and clear. So, I need a clear pot for the clear. I don't need loads of clear and I don't need loads of white. So I've got two clear pots. So I've got two clear pots, so that's white and clear. Just make sure I leave this to thicken before I use Excuse me. Let's mix our white to get that ready while we're waiting. So with your white, you always want to give it a really good mix up. Want a decent amount, you don't want to skip because this has the chemical in it, but you also want to keep your product under 6% of your resin. Okay, so you want a decent amount. Put in, be white, and then your resin. Just to show you, the way you can tell if this is a selling pigment is you'll see this chemical separation in there, the white and the resin. So whatever that chemical is, it'll float in there, whereas the paste will sink. Can you see that? I'm not sure you can see it with the lighting in this room. Right, so that's mixed. I need to put that away where I don't knock it over while it sits. <clears throat> uh, I need to stand up for this. Now, I'm going to just use this actually and pour it on this one. I want a decent amount of white, of clear, I mean. Again, we're going to leave that for now while we just mix our colours. 
So again, the reason I'm pouring it back into these cups to mix is because this cup's got those grooves and I do not want any of those grooves that have got resin that might not have been mixed. So I'm also not gonna scrape out my jug, okay? Because I don't want unmixed resin in my color. Now I've done more of one and less of the other, okay? I've done just, well, about 80 mils of um, the, this one that I'm pouring now. And trying to get up to 100 mils if I can. Um, and then less, the rest is from the leftover is in the other one. And the reason for that is because I've got a bigger area where it's gonna need the darker blue mixing, okay? All right, so that's that. So we'll leave that to the side. And I'm gonna leave that mixing stick in there and I'll clean that shortly. All right, so the gel tints. This one is aqua gel tint from Colour Passion and highly pigmented um, and you don't need much. So add a little at a time to your colour and uh, go slowly. You can always add more and build up your colour, okay? So I'm gonna do, whoops, three drops for that amount, okay? Quite a lot of um, colour. Wow, look at that selling, can you see it? You see it selling in the resin. Now I have not done anything with that, that's just selling, okay? Add one, two, I might have done this the wrong way around, three. Bondi Blue. Bondi Blue, I have the container I always find goes everywhere. So just keep yourself clean. You don't want to touch an area with blue tint that doesn't need to have blue tints on it. So just be careful with that. It's my container and the way I use it. It's not the colour problem issue, I should say. Uh, let's find some mixing sticks. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go with the tint first. So this is Aqua. This is the gel tint. Just make sure it's mixed in really well. That is gorgeous. All right, and then we're gonna leave that to sit for a little bit. And this is the Bondi Blue Tint. So this is more of a light, beachy color. And that's the darkest. I should have done that one more, not this one, but never mind. That's okay. Because I can add this to that and add more pigment. And that's what I might do actually, to blend it a bit more. Because you can mix your colors, don't stress about that. Oop. I'm going to clean that because I don't want a mess. <clears throat> so let's just put a little bit of this and mix it in there because we want more of that colour. We want it darker. I'm just going to wipe that again. Okay. Let's add a little bit more of the aqua to this one. So put four drops. <coughs> There's a lot of resin. I want it quite a deep blue, but I still want it transparent. See your hair there, we don't want that on. Make sure you scrape all that tint from the edges. You want to mix it all thoroughly. That's a nice color, look at that. I think I might do one tint to this as well. One squeeze, Oop. mix that in, just to make it a little bit more richer blue, but it'll match and blend easier with the other one. All right, look at that, that's gorge. All right, so let's test those two colors. I'm gonna get a piece of kitchen roll. So it's nice and white. So that's our Bondi with the mix of aqua. And this is our, well, it's a Bondi with a mix of aqua, but it's more aqua. So those colors are lovely. I'm happy with that. And then what I'll do is I'll pour some and then I'll add some more pigment and I'll pour it again. But this color here is gonna be stunning with this color. So I'll keep that to the side because I will use right, that again. I just laid the clear. It is a little bit runny still, really. This is starting to thicken. Still runny though. So I'm not gonna add too much. I just want a base color and we can always add more as it thickens. So I'm just gonna add, I'm not gonna worry too much about it want too much and I just had to adjust the level because the guitar is not flat so the the resin is moving in its own direction where I don't want to go but um, I'm just gonna do that for now put that out of the way and then add this blue this deeper blue at the back and this is thicker because it's um, uh, deeper thickening and warming up so I don't want to add too much just wipe that clean okay I'm gonna use my hands I better get them clean actually I'll just use this one that'll be fine so I'm just going to move and manipulate this color now and start blending it together. So I'm gonna to touch that white, but I don't want it to take over the white. I want that white to be a clear definition of um, the blue from the white. I want that clear to stay in between that so that our white stays white and doesn't go light blue in color. So you may notice I'm not going and, and flooding this at the moment because I don't want it flooded. It's gonna move and overflow when we blow. 
I just want this to sit. Okay. So now you can see, because it's transparent, you can see where the colour underneath, where I did those spray paints of the Rust-Oleum, you can see the lines of that coming through the resin. So that starts to show depth. Okay. I want that touching that white, but not taking over. And I want that touching the string board. I don't know the official name, I'm sorry. And here you all go, eh. It's not called a string board. Okay, okay. So because it's got lots on it, I'm just going to blend this blue over the blue. So I've got a lot of white here, so, so I'm just going to blend that in a bit. And do the same at fish here. But I don't want it taken over the clear. Okay. Right, that's actually sitting quite nice. It's not flooding. So I can add more. You can see a floaty already. Urgh, I hate floaties. Take it out. There's only the bottom layer, so I'm not going to stress about it too much, honestly. Okay. I want to push that line back a bit because it's coming too far forward and I don't want the white going in that hole. I'm just going to push that back with a silicone tool and manipulate it where I want that to go. Okay. I'll have to get my other little cloth. It's got to clean a bit on it. Well, I hope it's clean a bit. I'll just, oops, sorry, it's my head. And bang, just clean that off. Okay. All right, I do want this to sit and push back because this is not making me happy. It's creeping forward here. So let's just push this up there, see if that'll help push it back a bit. Push that up a bit, maybe I'll get another one. Push that back. Because we don't want this flowing and taking over this way, we want it organic, but going back. So you like that? See that break water now? See that line? Isn't that lovely? That's really nice. So let's use our little stick and just push this clear back a bit where we want it to be. Okay. That's it. I'm going to get a clean cloth because I don't want to use a dirty one. Oh, I've got resin there. Get that off. Let me just clean up the edge. It's still not doing what I want it to do, and that is stay that way. So that's going to help. Okay, let's have a go. Let's see where we're at with our white. All right, so this is thickened. It's not quite where I want it. So we'll leave it a little bit more. And I'm going to add a bit of darker shade. I'm going to add some more pigment to this now. A good squirt. Let's get that darker. We should be able to see some movement. Okay, so that will blow in and blend when we blow. Let's add one more squirt. It's getting quite hot now. I want this back area quite a lot darker. That's better. Okay. Now we're starting to run, which is okay, because we'll just start spreading that. As it goes down, we're going to cover this back end with resin. So that's okay. We don't mind that. And it's going to blow over more so um, shortly when I add heat and we start blowing that white. The only thing that makes me anxious with this is where this is, whether what is going to affect the white. That does make me nervous, but I think we'll be okay. Right, so I'm going to add one more square of this in here as well. You don't want it all one flat colour either. You want to uh, have variants of shades to add to add movement in your water. You know? Oops. You can add this into the back as well. This will all change when we start adding um, colour, uh, white, and moving it. Leave that. Okay, so I'm going to move these bottles out of the way now. Ooh, now, can I see any floaties? That's the next question. Let's move the tint. Can we see floaties, floaties, floating in like magic? 
There are some bits. That's okay, because this is the bottom layer. I wish you could see the back end. It's so effective where that blue is going down. Clear my cluttery area. Got these weights holding that down, so I'm just going to hold this. And I'm going to smear that blue pigment, paste, uh, not pigment, resin over the paint so we get a smooth, tub, full coverage of it on the edges. Oh, I can feel it's nice. That's going down lovely, jubbly. Okay. And you will get waves as this goes down the, uh, the back end. I don't mind the drips, I just want to make sure we've got good coverage over that paint. So it doesn't just look like paint, if you know where I'm coming from. Get rid of that, get a new cloth ready. Okay. I'm going to do it, everyone. Let's just have a bit of heat first. I'm going to double glove because these are unlucky and I don't want resin all over my heat gun. So I'm just going to double glove up. Oh, that's if I can get it on because the other one's wet. That's okay because I'll keep my heat gun dry, uh, my heat gun clean. Okay. Okay. Excuse me for blowing. So I'm just using a gentle nozzle. Okay. So just heat up, get the bubbles out, start blending that a little bit. You can see, hold on, hold on. You can see a hair there, want that out. Did I get it? Can't tell. I don't know if I've got that. Hmm. If it's not out, it'll come back up and resurface. Okay, let's go again. Don't overheat at this stage, okay? Do not overheat. You see those waves happening now? <laughs> okay, let's do. Now, when you're pouring a white, pour from on the outside. Doesn't matter if it drips. On the edge, don't worry about that. Okay, and I don't want to add loads at this stage. Just gentle amount. Okay. Oops, and we don't want dobs. We want a steady stream. Whoops, we've got a dob. This is the tricky bit, is getting that steady stream. Should have maybe got a uh, spoon. You want it on the wood, touching the water, but in front of the water. Okay. Okay. Here we go, people. Let me get my chair out of the way so I've got room to maneuver. Hmm. Now I can see a dimple happening already in the in the resin, so I'm just going to add a blob of colour. I do not want a dimple of dent. A dimple of dent, a dent of dimple. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to blow on a sort of high-ish blow, and we're going to tilt a little bit. All right, or we get down low and we blow across as low as we can. Okay, here we go. I'm going to say I've not got enough. I can see it already. I don't think I've got enough white. And you can kind of see how it's moving. And I want it to move a little bit more than that. All right, let's see if I can do it this way. Just flatten out. Oh, I can see that hair. Got it. Got it. Okay. I'm going to be careful we don't affect, we don't affect the varnish either. Okay. Hard because I need to balance it and it's an awkward shape. Balance it. Whoops, sorry. This is not ideal, but this is new to me. That's it. Okay, so now I've got an issue. I have to move this and move this, hold on, without burning myself. Okay, now I'll get this back on here. I don't want that stuck to it. Okay, 
I'll never good. Good, good. I'll never good. Oh, not the white over. Excellent. Well, that was a bit treacherous, wasn't it? And I have overheated the resin. So, you see that? Oh, I've made a mess everywhere. I tried to stay clean, and I made the biggest mess. It's an awkward shape. But this is why we keep extra because we can fill in our mistakes. I want that under there, so I've got to clean this first before I do any more. So, where's my clear? So I want to add some more clear here. Where I've overheated. And this is just the first layer, so don't stress if it does go wrong, you can make it right. Okay. I've got a fly in here. How dare I get a fly? Penny. Oh, getting thick now as well. There we go, so let's put some more dampness here. Okay, let's give it another blue. Let's add some more blue. And we can add some more depth here. And some more of this one before it cures on us completely. We want fluidity. And I can love the cells that we're getting, unfortunately. This is the, the one where we have to move because it does cure in a 45 minute window. So we have to move fast. And I'm not loving that. So I am just going to blow it. Okay, I've got stick hands. Better. That's the only thing with these. Um, it looks much better to me much better so now now we add heat okay to get these cells we we'll get it working We should start seeing cell development. If you're not happy completely, move it. Well, you can. See how the white's mixed in with the blue there? We'll cover that. We will cover it. Oops. Clean tool. Get that off there. Oops, that's coming out. Okay, so before it completely cures, I like a solid line on my front.
やばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばい
um, to do this commission, which I don't get many commissions. I'm not business as such. Uh, I do this for the love of my, my mental health and well-being. So um, anyway, uh, as you know, I've posted progression of uh, this piece, this guitar. It is a broken guitar, just so you all are aware. And uh, it's never going to be played again. So it's going to be wall arts in a home of a family of musicians who adore guitars. And it's going to go up on the wall as a display piece only. So I just wanted to address that because I've had a lot of comments saying that I've ruined it and it's never going to sound the same with it being acoustic and it has set vibrations and not to pour resin too thick. So um, I just wanted to address that in this video so you're all aware that it's um, not ever going to be played. It's a wall piece of art. That's why I'm doing it. Okay. So I wouldn't suggest out there going and resining your guitars if you're planning to play them. Um, as it may affect the quality of the sound from the instrument and damage it in that respect. Right, <laughs> Whoa, here it is. Okay, so you can see there's some divots in the resin from the heat, and um, you can see here. I'll just come closer up. Uh, I took the um, tape off here. It has left some little marks in the resin. It has all cured now. So I'm gonna sand this back. I'm gonna sand this back. I'm gonna recover this, um, and just tidy up these edges here. Um, also, piece here, I'm not 100% happy with here, so I'm going to address this today, hopefully. Just pour a little bit more white down here and blow it over and cover this where the white has merged with the blue a little bit too much. Um, other than that, I love the piece. And if you can see here, I just love this. It really does remind me of an ocean. And the sides are never going to ever be completely smooth because obviously the resin moves as it's curing. But I actually love that effect. And when it's up on the wall and you see it from below, you're going to see this lovely ocean moving effect. So I'm using, whoops my apologies, Ooh. the resin I'm using is Peugeot. Uh, you can buy this from um, Colour Passion in Mandurah in Australia and it can be shipped worldwide. It's a lovely resin. Okay, there we are. So we're as best as flat as I can get it. It is not perfect. Wedged it up here. Can you see my fingers? With uh, some cups and some molds just to give this bit support because they obviously the top end is heavier than the big base, the big area. Move that out of the way. Actually, I'm going to need those for the colours. Um, and yeah, I think we're ready. Okay. Oh, I need to take this off, don't I? So maybe I should do. Or should I tape it? Should really. Maybe I'll just take the top bit. I'll just take the top bit. So let me get my tape. What I just did off camera, I'm sorry, is I just went in these little nooks and crannies here with a toothpick. I just made sure I got white in those little areas where it was rough because uh, I wanted that sealed regardless of what happens. Uh, and I've got yellow here, you may notice. It's actually from the sandpaper from because I did this and then went and sanded here. It's not actually from the tin tool, and so I'm definitely covering that over. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. Also, as you can see, see the bubbles? There's, there's lots of micro bubbles in there, but the bigger bubbles have all surfaced and are popping. It is thickening, but it's not thick enough. Well, it is really. I could go ahead and start. Um, so what I'll just do is give it a quick... Oh, oh. Just heat the heat gun up, off it and turn it on to the very minimum because it's quite full. That's it. And that'll just heat it up a little bit on the surface to allow those bubbles to start popping. You don't want to overheat your resin either because it will speed up the curing time. And if you're on a time crunch like this where you don't want to speed up time, just be careful, okay? That's some dust. Make sure I've got no dust on me. All right. Just give it another surface wipe. Don't go over where you just put resin, obviously. Just making sure we've got no dust sitting there where we don't want it. Okay. I did go over that a little bit. Let me just take it off where the blue is. I've just gone over that a little bit where the blue is, but I'm going to put more white on there, obviously. Let's do it, shall we? Shall we go? Because this is warming up. I can feel it now. And as I say, we're going to release them bubbles anyway. So let's just pour it. Let's do it. And we'll fill in those holes, making sure you've got plenty on those divots. Okay? Make sure you've got plenty where the divots are and you want it full. And you want plenty of... Oh, I nearly forgot about putting the clear down here. Because you want that gap between your white 
I'm going to add that clear image and rest it so it's not a major drama. Um, but you want to make sure you've got plenty of white, a clear in front of your white so that you don't blend it. Okay, let's keep that to one side because that will gather up some more as it settles. Uh, let's just move, use our fingers and move that around where we want it to be, okay? So making sure all the surfaces are covered where we want it covered. So I'm not doing a second wave at all. What I'm doing is touching up and filling in the holes. Because I actually love the waves that are produced already. So I'm just going to push this around a bit. Already love the, the movement in the piece that's already there. So I don't want to hide that, but I'm going to create depth. Make sure I've got enough around here. Oops. That's why you put tape on. <laughs> Might use a stick to push that off just for safety. Oh, there's my puppy having a nightmare. Okay. Have a close look where you've got it. I'm just going to clean my fingers. So I don't drip everywhere. I'm also going to clean that off so it doesn't seep under. All right, let's get a stick, a silicone stick. I'm just going to push white bubbles so they don't collect around that edge. But we're sealing in that clear to get a smooth finish. Okay. And I'm just going to pull a bit more around here because it's not covering. There we go. That's better. So you want those, you want enough resin filling those potholes. Just pop those bubbles as they come out from that edge because, as I said earlier, sorry if my arm's in the way. There was a gap where the tape came off. All right. So now. Uh, let's add some colour, just wipe my little stick, making sure we don't get any residue left. Let's get the blue, where we want the blue. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Stunning! Yeah, this is thickening nice. So, I want this at the back. And over the edges. And we definitely want it over this bit. Okay, so I'll keep a little bit because we want that to maybe wipe around the edges and make sure we've got all the areas covered. And let's make sure we've got those divots covered and blend that line where we've mixed the clear. So you can pull a bit of it into the clear because that will just make it lighter. So yeah, it's not covered up anything. Um, it's not taken away from the piece, it's just adding depth. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is use my hand and just smooth this color where I want it so that we've got resin even coated over those edges where we sanded. So I'm sorry about my hand in the way. And you can pick up the resin that's on the bottom that's dripped off and use it, make sure we're not wasting. Making sure I've covered all of those um, areas, all the areas um, where you've got the lower parts, you want that resin in there too. Okay, I can't see what I'm doing on the back here, but I was very happy with the results yesterday from that back area, where I couldn't see. So I'm just making sure, you can feel when it's sticky and it's not got cover properly, you can feel the resin with your fingers when you use it. That's why I like to use my fingers when I'm doing this, so I can feel where it needs the cover. Clean your hand, clean your hand. That's looking really cool. All right, let's have some white, and then we're going to blow. Add a bit more. All right. We'll give it another stir, make sure it's all mixed. I want this heavy enough that it'll cover what I've done so it puts that shine back on it but I don't want too much where it's overflowing in areas I'm not pushing it right forward at the minute because it'll do that itself and I also don't want it to take over so I'm just putting enough in there that it'll cover what I don't want to show and then the rest will do its own thing when I blow it and we'll push that clear up to the line now I want a decent amount on here because I really want to cover that blue where that pastel blue is mixed so I'm just going to push that over it because it's going to blow off it but uh, I'm just going to push it on there Put a little bit more on that front edge there because we don't want it to be bare. We will add some more once we've blown. You've seen me do that process before. And I want to cover up where I sanded. Um, where that yellow from the sawdust has gone, where I didn't remove it from the sandpaper. Which was my error. And I do a lot of them. But this is why I do these videos. You can learn from my errors. And also learn how to fix your errors too. Right. Alrighty then. So, I'm just going to straighten these edges. <coughs> Still getting over my flu. <coughs> I'm really going to do with a drink right now. So, I have just gone over that edge there. I wasn't going to do it just yet, but it was coming down in patches. I didn't want lumps of it. 
and I don't want the overall look to look like I've just covered over the edge of another pore either. Oh, I don't want it as smooth as possible, but just be careful doing this, you don't want to do too much. I don't know what I did, but I don't think I had a stick for the clear, did I? Let's get this one. You can just see areas where there's not enough near the white, and I want that a bit more thicker near the white. You want the um, clear resin to touch your white layer. If it's not touching, it won't. It will just stick, and it won't and overheat, and it won't travel. So make sure you've got plenty of white in front, clear, I mean, in front of your white layer. <coughs> I can see plenty that need it here. Okay, clear that off, so I don't want that mixing. There we go. Okay. So, that looks successful to me. Just going to touch those two bits where it didn't join. Okay, so I'll put that back there. Let's get some action. Hello everyone. All right, so this is now dried. I'm happy with that. I'll try and buff this out at the end. This is all cured. We've got a nice edge on it. It's not overflowed. It's perfect. Okay. So now let's address what I need to do. So first today I'm going to do sealing this back and covering this because if any resin comes under, I don't want another area on here like last time where I get lumps and bumps. I've got a file out. The whole point of putting this on was to protect the back and cover up where I scratched it. Secondly, uh, I'm just going to do preparation right now today. So fast forward if you want to. Um, let me just pop this under here and raise it straight so that we can see it clearly. Hopefully. No, I'm not going to do it, is it? And I see. I'm going to bed. Right. Am I in? No, probably not. Oh, it's not wanting to play the game today. It's a bit wobbly today. Oh, I know why. Sorry. Turn this over. Hennessy. That's enough, please. There we go. That's better. Ta da Okay, am I in? Probably this way. Can you see it all? Yeah. Anyway, so um, I did do another pour on it, and I've sanded it back because I want to do top coat. But there are areas I'm really not happy about. Um, this bit here, I'm a bit blotchy. Henny, get out. Get out. Move. Move. Leave her. Um, yeah, this blotchy area here, not 100%. There are areas I like, but there's areas I don't like. And what I think I'm going to do before I do the top is I'm going to get, get out. Move. Move. Sorry, my dog is being naughty because I'm distracted. Uh, I'm going to get my two spray paints. Get off. Um, so what I thought I'd do is get some of my spray paint, the Rust-Oleum, and I'm just going to put a couple of little paint marks with a paintbrush and just paint it rather than spraying it. Just in areas to bring back. It is going to come to life when I put the clear coat. You'll see the colour, these lighter shades coming back to life again. Um, but yeah, there's just a couple of areas. And I don't want to do another flood coat. Uh, I'll have some of the selling that's in here. And these are going to pop once we've got come back on. Hennessy! So anyway, that's where I'm at. So I want to do that. So today I'm going to do the preparation on the back and I'm going to touch up this. Then I've got to go to an appointment and then I'll come back and do a top coat. So and I'll give time for that paint to fully dry before I put top coat on. And I'm hoping, because there's also a couple of little marks down here that I need to cover where I've sanded. So on that, I'm just going to go and get ready to do the back and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so sorry about that. I had to just go and turn my alarm off. I've got to go and get ready for an appointment. So I'm just going to do the last few bits of this. So there I can see. So I'm loving this a bit more now. This is much better. I don't like that mistiness where the blue blended too much with the um, white and it went to like a sky blue. I want definition of colour, I want white over there. This area here I don't like either too white and blurry. Better. Better. What it's given us back is a little bit more definition of this uh, white line. 
the white line doesn't look although i won't have as much clear layers it won't look as harsh if you know what i mean it won't look as thick i'll have a bit more color underneath where i want it like that okie dokie so just to for those of you skip forward we have done the sides I've even done the back because i had some scratches and wanted to cover it and i've sealed it and yes it's got resin and as you can see i've used some tape and glue just to seal that back so we didn't get any undercut and thank goodness i did and then one side and back to the front so what i've just done is spent about three hours uh, heating the resin gently and with my exacto knife carving out around this edge where the resin's like poured up it also seeped under the tape so i was not terribly impressed that i'd done that uh, and i wasn't happy with the finish there is some residue of where that happened so i had to sand it back and i had to do this so it's taken me about three hours to do that um so anyway long story short i'm happy where i'm at now so what i'm going to do now is do a top final coat you can see some pitting here so i'm not adding any color now i love the pattern i love the waves i love the cells these cells were bigger but they did shrink and these ones here too and they did shrink but i actually quite like it, it looks quite gentle see foamy and i like it a lot so uh and this is all going to come to when i put the resin on you'll see it all come to life and you'll see everything clarity and the depth in this piece so first of all what i need to do is get this set up now so that it's level as i can get it remember it is rounded on the back and um and then i'm going to just do a not a flood coat as such because i don't want it to flood this way but um so i'm just going to be very careful how much i add here and i'm going to have it slightly tinted tilted so that it will go back um and cover where the heat pits are and the cells are um uh, and make sure that we've got a nice even clear coat over the top to seal it and hopefully that will be it all being good so on that note, let's get to it. I have sanded this back, so I've scratched all the surface. I just need to sand the thing in there. Um, I've scratched all the surface back. Hennessy, stop it. Get out. Um, so that the resin will adhere to this nicely. And uh, let's get going. All right, so I'll just mix the resin and I'll be back with you in a sec. 